Hello everybody, I am Bolt Matrix, and today is Friday, March 18th, 2022. There's been a lot of news, a lot of it's been kind of fluff, but we're going to be talking about a couple of different things today, so I hope you stay tuned. Enough of my blathering, let's go ahead and get right into it. First off, we have TFCon LA 2022 Dealer Room Roundup. Got a bunch of stuff here that I want to talk about that I think is pretty cool. First off, fans, hobbies, arson. And I've got to admit that thing looks real pretty, but I I just couldn't swing it right now. Just couldn't swing it. I know if a couple of you out there were nice enough to offer to pick one up for me while you were there, I, I'm sorry. I just couldn't swing it right now. I've just got too much on my plate at the moment. But it looks really good. It would be it would have been a nice obliterators. Now we've got more deformation seekers. 180 each. It's not a surprise that we've got Thundercracker and Skywarp with the Deformation line, but I, 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 you know, it's weird. Some folks really liked the Deformation Starscream, and some folks really hated it. So it was kind of odd, but I think they look good. Next, we've got more Iron Factory. Now, I saw all of these figures at TFCon Baltimore back in 2021 and some of them are only just have only just been released which is weird and then we've got more make toys seekers which is really nice to see i actually really like the howling meteor from make toys that was one of my favorite third party figures over the past couple of years so we're getting april 2021 was acid swarm tfcon la was 2022 is sky clone and then we don't know what the next two Toronto and Chicago are going to be. They're going to be the Rainmakers, most likely. We'll probably get a, a dark blue one, and we'll probably get a yellow one. And then we've got this Generation Toys Megatron. I was so stoked to pick this thing up. And then I saw, what was it, a Magnumatron video of it, and... I just fell out of love with it. I don't think I've ever fallen out of love with a third-party figure faster. Not holding it, just seeing it online. Never really fallen out of love faster than that before. I just, I just did not want it after seeing that video. Oh, but there's something down there that I did want is that Comanche helicopter. Ooh, I really wanted that. All right. Yeah, I, I don't deny that it's cool but it has so much kibbles and bits and parts that you gotta part form on it, it just it isn't for me now let's see this is Vec vexo promonition alternative oh batman that's the batman exclusive from mmc and then we have the well grifter yeah I'm just not feeling it. I am feeling out. I am feeling Sky Clone though. That is a really pretty purple. I, I like that quite a bit. That's very very cool. I like that. Oh, I forgot about the butt flap. Yeah, that that thing has one heck of a butt flap. And this is interesting. HTB Toys Masterpiece crossovers and micro action figures. Oh, that's right. These are the figures that are. These are the toys that are scale or that scale to the arc. We'll look at those later. Uh, more arson picks. Ah, uh, here we go. Here they are. So tiny. Oh, I love them. I think those are so cool. They need more detailing. These are obviously prototypes, but they are very cool. Oh, and they fit in capsules. I didn't realize that. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, now here is something that's cool. There, I can't remember who's doing it, but I think it's the same folks. HB Toys. HB Toys, HBC Toys. They're doing G.I. Joe vehicles that transform here's hound that turns into the jeep from the original gi joe line that's very cool that's so cool i'm oh i'm really tempted to pick that this this up that that's really really cool i like that a lot Ooh, though i'm noticing those heels oh uh, i don't know i'm not i'm not a fan of those heels but it's obviously it's obvious that the seats become the toes so that that's neat that's neat. I, they could fit 3.5 inch Joe figures. I, I like that a lot. And here is the MMC Deathsaurus, which I swear was announced like two years ago. Or is this Ocular Max? 
I can never remember if this is MMC or Ocular Max, or aren't they the same things? Anyway, looks cool. I I don't like the dragon mode. I just think the dragon mode looks more like, um, honestly, it looks like a chicken. Or, oh, what is the mythological creature that turns people to stone? No, not a carbuncle. That That's a cat. Of course, you know, it'll come to me in like 10 minutes after I'm done shooting this video. Anyway, robot mode looks fantastic. I, I just don't like that beast mode. But that robot mode looks good. That robot mode looks so good. Oh, yeah. And then here's eject and rewind prototypes. Very nice. Those look very, very cool. And more chicken. More death chicken. More of these guys. And that's it for the dealer room. Diamond selects Transformers, the movie Galvatron, and Mini Mates. So we got this big old Galvatron and then some Mini Mates. We got RC, King Starscream, Coronation Starscream, Galvatron, and Jazz. That Galvatron statue looks pretty darn good. I like the look of that. Oh, and the Quintessa Star Quintesson or Quintessa stand. Yeah, that, that looks really good. I'm not one for statues, but if I were, I would definitely consider picking that one up. The Mini Mates, though, I'm not a fan, but plenty of people are, so I'm not going to yuck anyone's yum. Next up, we've got Transformers Legacy QR codes that are active. During Hasbro PulseCon 2021, it was announced that new Legacy figures would feature QR codes on their packaging, so you can scan them. And that's what a QR code looks like, and it takes you to a web page. Cool. Cool. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say, but cool. Yeah. That's neat. I think that's a good idea. I, I really do, but I don't know. Oh, God, they're going to probably try and make these NFTs at some point, aren't they? All right. Now we're into the crazy stuff. We've got our possible first look at Rise of the Beast, Optimus Prime, and Optimus Primal with a Tigatron figure that's a weaponizer. Now, these are simplified figures that are really meant for small kids. They really are. So, Prime first. Actually, I think it, it looks pretty good. I like the way the Prime looks. That That's a cool-looking Prime. And then it turns into a very, very Beast Hunters-esque prime mold, or vehicle mode. I like that a lot. I really do. It's very simple, obviously, but it's neat. And now we come to the I've seen things. This is a very interesting design, and I get what they're going for, because remember, we saw previews, or I, I would say concept art, several years ago, of Optimus Primal in gorilla mode. We also saw Megatron as a giant cobra or snake. And then we've recently seen Cheetor, and they've all been this silver color. That's interesting. I'm be, I am bummed that there's no other paint, but we'll have to wait for the final design. But I would, I would bet the final design is this, black and silver for all of the beasts. Except we have this weird Tigatron. Gorilla mode looks okay. There's going to be another picture that makes it look a little less okay, but there is been there there is possibility in these. And then here's Primal transformation, very simple, very simple. I believe that you open up the chest, turn the entire. Well, you know what? I'm not entirely sure. I I think you. Grab the entire chest section and it will fold out. And then that's this whole section here and it'll fold out on this hinge in the figure's crotch and then turn 180 and it will fold back up. Then you flip up the shoulders, turn the hands, come down to the feet and turn them 180 degrees. And I think that's it. I really do. But as a very simple transformer, that's quite effective. That, that's kind of cool. Now, Tigatron, on the other hand, looks like he's having a very bad day. It looks like you split the figure apart, bi you bisect it effectively, flip the head up, and then plug the arm on. Ooh, that just looks painful. I don't know. I, 
I like all of these figures. I think all of these figures are neat. Oh, here's the primal bending at the knees, essentially. I swear there's a joint missing there, but there might not be. I kind of wish I got a hold of these figures because they look fun. They just they look simple and fun. And let's face it, we all kind of all could use just a little bit of simple fun these days. I think the only thing I'm worried about, and this is a little weird, I'm kind of worried about the YouTubers. If they're getting a hold of designs like Beast, Rise of the Beast figures this early, there is a very real possibility that the movie studios could act. Hasbro's not going to do a darn thing. But with all the stuff that's going or gone on regarding the YouTube channels and the legally obtained figures for Jurassic World or whatever Jurassic Park movie is coming out, there was a lot of bad stuff that happened to those YouTube channels. They're all, I think they're all okay at this point, but... I mean, we're talking about movie studios. They do not give a darn about you. The the toy companies are a little bit more forgiving, but I think we're getting you're you're risking the ire of the of the really bad people at this point. Okay, off my soapbox. I think these toys are cute. I think they're neat. I think they're going to be ten bucks a piece, which sucks. But overall, I. I'm looking forward to this line. I really want to see what Hasbro brings us in terms of new figures, especially for the Beast folks, because that's going to be real interesting. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. It's supposed to be a nice, beautiful day here on, or days on the East Coast. I hope you're able to get outside a little bit, even though it's pollen season. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. As always, I have been Bo Matrix, and I'll catch you all next time.